Professor Robert Littman has a very big claim to fame. Not only has he led some of the most significant archaeological digs in Egypt, he's got the recipe for the perfume worn by the most powerful woman of the ancient world, Cleopatra. The best perfume in all the world was the Mendesian perfume that came from Egypt. So we started excavating at this site in 2007, and so we knew about the reputation of this site for a perfume. It was during the decade-long excavation of the ancient city of Timai that Robert and his team discovered a perfume factory with a treasure of vials still intact. We're here at Timai LMD, uh, which is a Hellenistic site. The city was founded probably in about the 5th century BC. The perfumes were nothing like the alcohol-based versions of today. They were oily and aromatic, and lasted for up to eight years. And for Cleopatra, they were a very important tool. Do we know that Cleopatra wore perfume? Oh, yes. Uh, we have uh, a lot of ancient sources tell us about it. She had her own perfume factory. Wow. That she made her own perfumes. She clearly wore this Mendesian perfume. It was the Chanel number no. five of the ancient Egypt. Whether she wore it regularly, we don't know. But she certainly would have tried it, just like I'm sure you've tried Chanel Number no. Five. Of course. <laughs> sometime, sometime in your life. Yes. When she first uh, went to meet Mark Antony, uh, I think she uh, took perfume and doused the sails of her boat with perfume. Oh, that is so, so romantic. Uh, he could smell her as she arrived. As she arrived, Harper. yes. Oh. Queens of Egypt exhibition in Washington this year was the catalyst for making the perfume. So we started with moringa oil, and then we added myrrh mm -hmm. and cassia and cinnamon. And this was all ingredients that Dioscorides says were, were, was in the Mendesian perfume. It all sounds intriguing. So what did it smell like? Uh, it would smell woody, so cinnamony, slightly cinnamony, resin smell. It doesn't have flowers in it. There it's are not other, sweet. Not no, sweet, or no. Or floral. No, no, not floral, no. Mm. It's more woody, pine, cinnamony, that, mm. com that combination of it. Powerful, just like her. Yes, strong. Very strong, yes. Mm. However, Cleopatra, one of the most fascinating and charismatic figures of history, I'm sure she brought with her her own uh, seduction. Oh, yes. I mean, of course, the <laughs> perfume was just an, an aid. One of the projects Robert gives his students is to create the perfume. So here's the ingredients. He tells me the trick is in the blend. But as for the seduction part, well, that one's up to you. 